was it? Oh, fucking amazing. Like, you'd love it. It's like I beat the 60s kind of vibe. Right. Like, come for them without all the shit. But dude, okay. Right, let's go. Right. I'm going to ask you to talk quite loud. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Right, here we go. Let it take you through the smoke. Leave my hands in the soil to let our love grow. If our time seems to wait on feeling good, it's not how we should show our love. Our I mean, there have been so many of them. I mean, the one that we talk about quite often is, uh, I mean, we could pick out Glastonbury gigs on the other stage or a 2010 Glastonbury gig at, uh, on the John Peel stage. Running our own festival was pretty bad. There was one in um, Centennial Park in Sydney where the whole town seemed to stop and come to this gig. And then we followed that gig to like 100,000 people or something with a, an all night session in a, in a tiny club called the Chinese Laundry. That was definitely a memorable evening, but I think, you could probably put the whole thing together by saying that we've we've done all this stuff with the same crew of people for pretty much the whole time. And uh, they're just the most amazing group of people to be on the road with. So uh, just memories of being with this gang really is the thing that sticks. Well, I mean, you know, it's the same kind of combination of electronics and live that we do. And I think we're pretty unique in that sense. I don't think you see many bands that manage to bring you know, there's bass, there's guitar, there's three singers, and all the technology we do, and then a really synced up beautiful light show and all that. So this should be really special. I think five of us are going off at five to 11, somewhere in the middle of super styling. So it should be pretty electric tonight, yeah. Oh, it's an enormous privilege, you know, and it's, uh, it's like, yeah, my, my son's getting into his tunes and he, you know, he, he wants to have a crack at it. And uh, it just reminds you that you just need luck. And yeah, we've grafted hard, you know, we've done, we've definitely put the hours in and we've been through some bad, bad times and we've also had a few strokes of luck. And, uh, and that's allowed us to have this blessed quarter of a century of, of doing stuff like this, you know, and I think if you ever take that for granted, you need to kick up the backside because it is one of the most amazing things to be able to do. I mean, I think that, I think the thing that we took a lot of time and attention to do was to really nail the live experience, you know, and if you have that, Thing in the, but that takes time, and I tell how you take a, particularly as a dance musician, how you take dance music, which is kind of all quite sample based and stuff, and then reproduce it onto a live stage. So take the time to do that, because then you have millions and millions or thousands and thousands of experience of connecting with people. Like Andy says, even like this summer has been amazing, like playing festivals like Latitude and stuff, where you're playing to a whole new generation of 60, 70 year olds. So I think spending the time to generate like a proper live show, don't go up there just stick on a couple of decks and wave your arms around, but really try and present something beautiful because that's the thing I think that both of us are most proud of is actually the, the way that we've done this thing live. So I would say that, you know, because those are the memories you're going to really hold on to when you get a bit older. It is emotional, but, um, but what a nice place to fucking see it out. Sorry, please my French. What a nice yeah. place to see it out, you know, it's so great.